Makoti School opened its Bikes and Schools track and had a large community turnout despite heavy rain. Principal Judy Nicholl and Deputy Principal Daryl Lawler consider the facility a real asset for the school. Many rural students don't tend to ride bikes to school, so this resource provides the ability to develop skills, build confidence and prepare them for more advanced riding. Training provided through the Bikes and Schools program for both teachers and students involves students hitting the track twice a week for practice, which is all part of a new curriculum participating schools offer. I think it's awesome. I like how we have the pump track and the school shed. I think that it's a good way to get kids to bike more. I like the pump track the best. I find it easier to use because you need to have a good skill to get on the school track because sometimes you can fall off the seesaw. I'm Nick Summerton, a teacher here at Makoti School. So it's great and lots of kids who haven't been able to ride a bike or never knew how to ride a bike have learned how to ride a bike really, really easily and it's great fun. We all, all the teachers get out there too, so yeah, brilliant. Tracks have been built at 15 schools throughout the Gisborne region. This equates to around 4,794 metres of completed tracks, 543 cycles, 1,926 helmets and 3,153 children on bikes more often.